Hi, I'm Elisa Southall, CEO of A People Partner. We official, have officially been open for a full month. I'm super excited. But as I was going through looking back at content, I realized that I never really formally introduced myself and told you a little bit more about my, my experiences. The good news is my website will be launched within the week. Um, so you will see a little bit more on our About Us page about me. For now, I wanna share with you a little bit more about <clears throat> my journey to get here as a CEO of my own company. It wasn't easy, um, but I wanna tell you about it because some of you, it may resonate and it may be sort of where you are in your life and, and you just need a little bit of push just like I did. I spent a lot of years having this dream of, you know, in five or 10 years that I would step out on my own, create my own company that helps job seekers to upskill and find employment. This was really propelled by the fact that I wanted to change the landscape of, or this narrative of the talent shortage. Businesses would keep saying that they had, you know, that there's a talent shortage across the United States. And I'd go and look at jobs, job openings, and I'd see they require a bachelor's degree. They require a master's degree. They require three plus years of experience. They require a lot of technology skills and abilities. And I couldn't help but think there's plenty of talent. There's just not the skilled, upskilled level of talent that you're looking for. As a middle-level HR employee within an, an organization, I couldn't, I couldn't convince companies to take a look at themselves and say, how can we bring on talent that may not be exactly where we want them to be, but how do we get them there? Because there's not a, there's not a labor shortage. There's talent. You just have to open the doors a little bit further, open your window and your perspective of what you're looking for a little bit further. And then I said, I also, you know, I also want to help job seekers. There are a lot of job seekers out there who are having trouble finding employment or they don't know how to sell themselves in an interview or they've never had somebody that could help them build a, a, a decent resume. Because as we know, opportunities aren't delivered equally. That being said, this was a dream that I just kept putting, you know, five, 10 years down, down the line and it kept being a future plan and a future plan. And every time I would be interviewing, I would talk about this as a passion for what I wanted to bring to an organization, how an organization could help job seekers, even if they weren't the right job seekers for them. I got some really good advice uh, years ago that said, make a job description for the job that you want. And when you're looking for an opportunity, align those bullet points with your job description and see how many of them align. If you have more that align than don't, maybe it's the right opportunity for you. I spent a year, a little more than a year, looking for a job. I was in a role and I was burned out. I didn't see any area or any room for growth. Um, even though I had had conversations about it. And so I needed to do something different. And so for a year, I was actively applying to jobs, looking for them online, et cetera. I was getting interviews. I was getting bites on my resume, but I was not getting offers. I'd gotten a couple of offers. They didn't, they didn't really align with what I was looking for. I knew what I was coming out into was a little bit different than what my experience on paper demonstrated. I wanted to be in talent acquisition and I wanted to work remote. I knew what my must haves were. I knew what my comp was. I knew what, what my must haves for responsibilities were. But ultimately I wanted a company who valued growing and upskilling talent and when I told them about my vision, that they were amped up about being a part of it. 
So for a year, I searched for a job while I was actively working. I ended up finding an opportunity, was there for a week, and quickly learned that it was not the opportunity that I thought I, I was getting myself into. It was not the right fit. And it was making me anxious and physically sick thinking about having to do this thing, this role that I didn't want to do, that I didn't have any interest in, that I wasn't invested in. So I made the hard decision and I parted ways with that organization. It was scary. I was out of a job, you know, and I sort of looked at it as a sense of failure. You went out into a new opportunity and it didn't work. And it should have worked because you vetted the system. That's your job. You have to vet the system. And it didn't work. But during my whole year of applying to jobs and getting six rounds of interviews in and then getting a rejection, every employer I was interviewing with was giving me feedback that said, you interview really well. We really like your skill set and background. We just chose somebody else, or you're just missing this one component, whatever it was. But there was never any feedback that they could give me that could help me improve for my next interview. I was frustrated. I was talking to people in my support circle, and I was saying, I don't understand. There must be something else that the universe knows why it keeps derailing me. And I didn't want to be, I didn't want to believe that. I didn't want to think that that was honestly true. I wanted a job and I felt like I was trapped. You know, I couldn't I couldn't leave the job I was in because I needed to work. But I couldn't get a job because I couldn't control my own destiny, right? And I was really amped up, but I kept trying to keep a positive spin on it of maybe the universe knows something that I don't know. And this is why I am not getting these jobs. Fast forward back to the point in where I left you. I'm out of work. I had my own health insurance. What do I do? So let me let me do some temporary roles. So I I did some temp things that were related to my position and or were related to what I was looking for and that weren't. In the meantime, I continued taking interviews, I continued to apply to jobs. And I kept going back to you should start your own company. I was still hearing the same narrative and it was still getting under my skin. And I said, you should start your own company. And then I would shrug it off and I'd keep going on and moving forward. I had some preliminary conversations with an accountant. What would this hypothetical look like? But I wasn't, it was a dream. It was not happening. And then I kept talking to people in my inner circle. And I was getting closer and closer to realizing that this didn't take a lot of overhead. There wouldn't be a lot of out, you know, out of pocket costs. And that this could be doable. But I was teetering on the fence. Do I, do I, don't I, will I, won't I, right? Going back and forth. I was listening to the podcast of a actor that I am a fan of. And he gave me some inspiration. Now, I've never seen the movie Indiana Jones, but he was referencing that when Indiana Jones needed to cross to the other side of whatever platform he was on to escape his danger, he had to trust that there was a plan for him. He had to trust that the universe knew better. So he stepped off the ledge and a bridge appeared. But if he hadn't stepped off the ledge, he never would have known that there was a bridge there and wouldn't have conquered the challenge, right? And although I hadn't seen the movie, that sort of uh, perspective resonated with me. I needed to step off the ledge and see if there was a bridge that would catch me. The only way I was going to know if this was my calling, if this is what I wanted to do forever, or just for now, I had to step off the bridge and I had to trust the universe. 
So I jumped. And I am flying. I'm soaring through this opportunity. It's not been easy. It's still been a challenge and frustrating at times. But I'm happy. I am very passionate about what I'm doing. I'm passionate about the impact that I can make and about being able to make this difference to a lot of people, both job seekers and HR professionals and organizations. So I'm excited. I'm excited to soar in this opportunity that I've that I've been fortunate enough to have. So jump up on a cloud with me and let's soar. Let's soar together through the sky on a mission for whatever your dream is and let's align. Jump up on that cloud and soar with me.